lesson 8 chapter cell the unit of life and the today's cell organelle we discussed is the lysosome the lysosomes these are prominent cell organelles which are noticeable in the electron microscope as they contain digestive enzymes therefore the term lysosome is used here so the lysosome that means lyso it means digestive or breaking down and soma or zomes it means body and this particular structure it was first reported by a belgian cytologist and biochemist and his name was christian d juve in 1955 but the term lysosome it was coined by scientist novikov the occurrence of this particular structure in the cell it is usually found in case of the animal cell and also this is part of the protozoan cells in case of the animal cells so mostly we can say that these lysosomes they are found in case of eukaryotic cells so generally in case of animal cells also the mammalian rbc they lacks lysosome and in case of the plant cells which is less prevalent so this particular structure in the cell or the cell organelle it is found only in case of some plant cells such as the root tip cells of mage pea seeds etc otherwise this is found in case of fungi such as yeast and as said earlier that the prokaryotic cells they do not have any such structures now the number of these lysosomes it may vary according to the different types of cells say for example it is particularly more in case of the wbc macrophages the kuffer cells and the secretory cells of the pancreas spleen liver kidney etc so the number that may vary depending upon the different type of cells or the tissues now let's come to the morphology of lysosomes lysosomes they are small vesicles which are bounded by a single membrane and contains hydrolytic enzymes that is the digestive enzymes in the form of minute crystalline granules so we can say that these lysosomes they are simple spherical structures that is found within the cell and they are bounded by a single membrane only and within the membrane or within those vesicles there are present hydrolytic or digestive enzymes and these enzymes they occur in the form of minute crystalline granules and hence the term that is given as lysosome lyso that means breaking down or digestive and the word zoom it has come from the word soma which means body so this is a structure within the cell that stores these digestive enzymes lysosomes they may vary in their size that is they can be from 0.2 to 0.3 micron meter and in case of some cells such as the wbc they can also go up to 5 micron meter in its wide the lysosomes they are called as suicidal bags so that is a term that is given to this particular structure the lysosomes they are called as the suicidal bag and this is because of the presence of a large number of the digestive enzymes in them 
which is covered by a single membrane. So if the membrane breaks or happens to get broken, the various cellular constituents would undergo lysis. That means they can destroy the whole inner part of the cell. These digestive enzymes, they have the capability of destroying all the inner parts of the cell. And therefore, as that happens, like a destroying effect or destructive effect within the cell, and that can destroy the whole cell if this digestive enzymes they get out of this particular structure therefore these lysosomes they are also called as the suicidal big now let's come to the types or kinds of lysosomes that is found within the cell so these lysosomes they have their occurrence from the golgi apparatus and Depending upon the morphology and the functions, there are four types of lysosome. The first that is the primary lysosome and these primary lysosomes, they are small in its size and they are formed from the vesicles of the Golgi apparatus. And it was discussed in the last video that the trans phase of the Golgi apparatus, they are generate that particular end that is generally responsible in forming these vesicles. And these vesicles later, as they uh, stores the hydrolytic enzymes, so that forms the primary lysosomes. The storage of these hydrolytic enzymes that leads to the formation of this lysosome from the Golgi apparatus. So the one which is just directly formed from the Golgi apparatus containing this hydrolytic or digestive enzyme. So, that is called as the primary lysosome. Then comes the secondary lysosome. The secondary lysosome that is formed from the fusion of food containing uh, food vacuoles with the lysosome. The cells, they have some structures which are called as the vacuoles. And there are certain vacuoles that stores the food. And when this uh, primary lysosome, they get fused with this food containing vacuoles. Then that leads to the structure that gives rise to secondary lysosome. Now, as this lysosome, it gets matured. So there are, therefore, those lysosomes where they stores the indigestible food material that is left within the cell. And such type of lysosomes they are called as the residual bodies. So that is another type of lysosome that stores the indigested food material within the cell. So here we are discussing about the environment that takes place within the cell. And the last one that is called as autophagic vacuoles. And they are produced by the fusion of a number of primary lysosomes around worn out or degenerated intracellular organelles. So we can say that the fusion of different primary lysosomes near the worn out or degenerated cell organelles. So that leads to the formation of these autophagic vacuoles. Let's come to the functions of these structures. The first function that is intracellular digestion. This is called as intracellular digestion because the organic substances taken up by the cells in vacuoles from the environment are digested in the lysosome. That means any left out part of the food particles as that gets stored within the lysosome or within the primary lysosome. So those organic substance or the left out part that is digested in the lysosome. The final part that is digested in the lysosome. That is why it is called as intracellular. That means within the cell digestion. The lysosomes, they also take part in the extracellular digestion. So that is the sec second function. The extracellular digestion, that means that the breaking down process that takes place outside the cell. 
and as it takes place outside the cell that is why it is called as extracellular digestion and it is performed by the hydrolytic enzymes that is present within the lysosome so when required the lysosome they releases this hydrolytic or digestive enzymes that helps in the digestion of the uh, food material or such other things unwanted things outside the cell or outside the body and the process that is uh, that goes on in this particular digestion project process that is called as exocytosis then comes the third function that is body defense the lysosomes as said earlier that they are present in some specialized structures such as the wbc macrophages then comes the uh, liver kidney cells so this particular structures in this part of our body or the cells which are present or tissues which are present in this particular part of our body so they have the mechanism to prevent our body from foreign particles so therefore the foreign particles such as viruses bacteria and the toxic molecules they are disposed of by hydrolyzing them in certain cells of our body such as the wbc's macrophages in the liver cells kidney cells etc so they have the power to destroy such foreign particles which are virus bacteria etc then comes that the lysosome they helps in the process of fertilization so as you know that the for the fertilization process fertilization it takes place when the male gametes they fuses with the female gamete so this lysosomes of the sperms they release the enzyme that is the digestive enzyme to dissolve the membrane of the egg that is why that is also helpful this particular cell organelle it is also helpful in the process of fertilization otherwise there are some other functions also as for example that it uh, helps in breaking down the aging and the dead cells so that eliminates the dead cells from our body and also that is important in case of autophagy that is the food uh, to a starving animal is provided by digesting the stored food material so in that case so this particular mechanism this is called as autophagy so this is all about the lysosome now let's come to another term which is very much associated with the lysosome and this is called as the vacuoles so these vacuoles they are bubble like sacs bounded by a single membrane and this membrane this is called as the tonoplast so they are very much like that of the uh, lysosome that is they are also bounded by a single unit membrane which is called as the tonoplast and they also appears to be in the form of uh, a sac or uh, it is like that of a vesicle and that is also formed from the golgi apparatus so it is small in case of the animals and it is large in case of the fungal and the plant cell and it is filled by a fluid which is called as the cell sac so these vacuoles they can be of many types some they acts as the sap vacuoles where they contains the cell sap and therefore that is called as the sap vacuoles that is the common vacuole some they are called as the contractile vacuole so this contractile vacuole they are generally found in the fresh water protozoans where they appear and disappear at intervals to get rid of the excess water from the hypotonic environment and that leads to the movement of the protozoans or during the process of digestion also and as they have a contract thing even so that that is why that is also called as the contractile vacuole then comes the food vacuoles that's uh, some of the protozoan protist and the lower 
animals such as sponges they contain the food particles in the vacuoles so as the vacuoles they stores the food therefore these are called as food vacuoles then some are gas vacuoles and these gas vacuoles they occur in the prokaryotes where the vacuoles they stores gases which regulate the buoyancy of the cells and that uh, provides mechanical support also and also protect the prokaryotes from harmful radiation so depending upon the different type of functions that they do so we find different types of vacuoles such as the sap vacuoles contractile vacuoles food vacuoles and the gas vacuoles and these are all found in different types of cells they are in the li uh, living world now come some let's uh, come to some functions of this vacuole so the vacuoles they maintain charger of the plant cell it helps in maintaining the target pressure that means the turgidity which is required in the leaves twigs or in very small amount on the woody tissues so that it can maintain its turgidity so therefore the vacuoles they are very much uh, important or they play a very important role in case of a plant cell and they are part of the tissues which are present in the leaves twigs etc then comes the second function that is they provide an aqueous environment for the accumulation of uh, water or storage of water soluble compounds like sugar minerals etc that is that they also acts as the food storing part within the cell then some vacuoles they may act as lysosome that means they have a destructing event or because they can also store the digestive enzymes and whenever it stores the digestive enzymes that directly forms the lysosome then comes uh, these vacuoles they also helps in absorption of water and helps in the elongation of a cell and the vacuoles they also store pigments such as anthocyanin anthocyanin which imparts color to a particular cell so that is why the vacuoles they also acts as the uh, color imparting part of a cell so these are few functions of the vacuoles so in today's video i have discussed about the lysosome and the vacuole 